hello welcome to my channel my name is joan aoko and in today's video i'll be showing you how to crochet this pair of shorts and this is a set it's a complete set uh, the top and the short i also have a tutorial on how to make the top part of it so you can check the comment section or the description box you will find the link of how to make the top so this is how the short looks like we'll be working on it uh, on the front panel and on the back panel and then it has nice edging on both sides you can also use a drawstring to adjust the waist and the waist is ripped so that's how the back part look, looks like uh, it has good coverage I have also made the shorts in color red but you can actually use any color of your choice so yes that's how the top looks like and subscribe to my channel i can't wait to see you recreating this i know it's sure going to be amazing so before you begin working on the short you need to know your round fly for this particular shot, the round fly is, the front part is 12 inches when stretched. So meaning that the round fly is 24 or 22 thereabout. And then the hip size is 40, but in this case it's 16. But when I stretch it out, it can accommodate up to size 40. For the material, I'll be using this yarn. Um... It's a fingering yarn, but I'm going to double the strand so that I can achieve a medium weight yarn. And this yarn is 100% acrylic. It's called Seagull and it's a four play yarn. But I will suggest you use cotton yarn, medium weight cotton yarn, or even a combination of cotton and acrylic yarn can still do. You also need a tape measure to help you in the sizing process. This is quite important you need scissor to cut off your ends you need a darning needle to weave in your ends and you also need a tape uh, sorry a stitch marker to help you mark your stitches though this is optional or if you don't have a stitch marker you can use a different shade of yarn to mark your stitches i'll be using four millimeter crochet hook before we begin, it's important to understand the sizing details of this short. So for instance, this can fit extra small to small. By that I mean it can accommodate up to 38 inches hips. Um, so assuming your hips is 38, you are going to deduct 2 because the 2 inches, this white part accommodates 1, in, one inch and this other part is one inch. So if you deduct those two inches from 38 inches, you are left with 36. And then you should divide 36, divide by two, that's 18. So that means that your front part should be 18 inches. And I suggest that when you are measuring the 18 inches, stretch out your yarn, uh, because if you don't stretch it out, um, the sizing is going to be a little bit messy so yeah stretch out your yarn, uh, your yarn and it the front part should be 18 inches and also the back part should be 18 inches so whatever your hips is deduct two after deducting two divide that number by two and then make the front part that number that you're going to get and then the back part should also be the same to begin, make a slip knot. For hips 40, I'm going to chain 60, 66 for the front part and also 66 for the back part as well. So chain loosely because we're going to work through the back loop. Make sure your foundation chain stitches is an even number because once we start working on the first row, you are going to lose the first stitch when you start uh, making your half double crochet 
in the second chain from the hook once you lose that first stitch then it means that you'll be left with odd number and that's what you need you need an odd number for the next row I have my 66 foundation chain stitches and if I put it on the tape measure it's 16 inches without stretching but if I stretch it out it can accommodate up to 19 inches so let's begin our first row so to begin on the first row I yarn over and then in the second chain from the hook You are going to make your first half double crochet and then half double crochet onto the second chain. Remember we are working through the back loop only. So when you work through the back loop, uh, it has this nice edging on both sides. So go ahead and complete your first row of half double crochet in each and every stitch across, uh, across the row and then I'll meet you once you get to this other side. I'm at the end of the row to begin on the next row, chain two, turn your work around and then we're going to make our first half double crochet in the first stitch over here. And then make half double crochet in each and every stitch until you complete the row. I hope you're doing fine wherever you are. Uh, I would love to know where you are from, like which country you are from. As for me, I'm from Kenya. And the situation here is on a partial lockdown. So also finding good yarn is a problem. But we still have to create content and I'm using whatever is available at hand. So go ahead and complete the row and then I'll meet you towards the end of the row. I'm almost at the end of the row and two stitches left. I'm going to make half double crochet in those two stitches to complete the row to begin on the next row you are going to chain two turn your work around and sorry and then into the first stitch you're going to make your half double crochet this time we're not going through the back loop the rest of the stitches you're not going to go through the back loop only the foundation stitch only So make half double crochet in each and every stitch going towards the other side of the row.
I'm almost at the end of the row. So to complete the row, we have one stitch left over here and onto this final stitch, I love going inside the stitch. By inside, I mean inside here. So make your final stitch inside and then chain two, turn your work around and then you're going to start making your first double, half double crochet inside the first stitch and then make half double crochet in each and every stitch until you complete your row. By the way, if you feel that your hook size is loose or too tight, you can adjust your hook like you can use a hook that's going to give you the tension that you desire. I have realized that people have different tensions. So I could be using hook number five, but for you to get perhaps this type of stitch that you need, probably you need 2.5. So it all depends with your tension. As for me, I needed something airy, so I don't mind having my pattern uh, a little bit see-through. So go ahead and complete the row, and then I'll meet you at that point. I'm at the end of the row. And this is the last stitch. I'm going to work inside this stitch and then I'm going to chain two, turn my work around and repeat the same thing for a total of 10 rows. So right now I have four rows. Go ahead and add six more rows onto your work and then I'll meet you at that point. I have my 10 rows of half double crochet and it's 3 inches in height. So the next thing is we are going to divide our work into two. Remember the foundation uh, chain stitches was 66 but when going when making the first row I ended up with 65 chain stitches. So to, to divide my work into two this part, this side will be 32 stitches and there's, and then this other side is going to be 32 stitches and then we'll also have a middle stitch. So 32 plus 32 plus the middle stitch, the one middle stitch, so makes it a total of 65. I hope you understand it now. So the next thing now we're going to do is uh, once you get at the end of the row, You are going to chain and turn your work around, uh, make half double crochet in each and every stitch until you get onto the middle point. And then we're going to do something a little bit different. So I'm in the middle part here and I'm going to make three double crochet, three half double crochet, sorry, inside the middle stitch. So 
so this is where you use your stitch marker so i have made three half double crochet in the middle stitch and i'm going to mark the second stitch which is going to be our middle stitch out of the three stitches the second one is going to be our middle stitch and i'm going to mark that but if you are a pro in identifying your stitches you don't need a stitch marker but for me sometimes i just prefer using a stitch marker to make my work easier so now go ahead and make half double crochet in each and every stitch until you complete the row. I'm at the end of the row. So to begin the next row, I'm going to chain two and turn my work around. Half double crochet in the first stitch. And then make half double crochet in each and every stitch going towards the middle part. I'm almost um, I'm almost there so this is the middle part I'm going to remove my stitch marker and in that middle part I'm going to make three half double crochet and then I'm going to mark my second half double crochet in that middle part and then I'm going to make half double crochet in each and every stitch to complete the row So I have completed that row and this is what you should be having like the middle part should be increasing and we're going to repeat the same thing for a total of 10 rows uh, something like this so the edges should not be increasing uh, the increasing should be done onto the middle part only so go ahead and make 10 rows we've already made two so far so add eight more and um, let me just use my tape measure so for me 10 rows of half double crochet so the 10 rows is three inches as well up to this point and then once you're done with that uh, we're going to do something a little bit different i'll meet you once we get to that point i have completed my 10 rows uh, increasing in the middle part and it's 3.5 inches so for the next uh, rows that we're going to make it's going to be different so let's begin So onto this, let me just adjust my camera light. 
so i'm going to chain two turn my work around and we're going to start reducing our work from this point so onto the first uh, stitch i'm going to make a plain half double crochet and then i'm going to reduce the next two stitches so i'm going to yarn over and pull through like that yarn over again and onto the second stitch i'm going to pull through and then i'm going to yarn over and pull through all those together for a reduction and then i'm going to make half double crochet in each and every stitch going towards the middle point I'm almost at the middle point and you're going to do the same thing again onto the middle point you are going to make three half double crochet and then onto the other side make half double crochet in each and every stitch and then we're going to reduce as we end the row So when I reach at the end part, I'm going to reduce onto this stitch and this stitch and then I have the last stitch over here. So technically I have three stitches left. So I'm going to reduce onto this one, yarn over again, go onto the second one and then yarn over and pull through and then onto the last stitch. I'm just going to yarn over and make a plain half double crochet like that. So onto the next row, I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to turn my work around. And then I'm going to make a plain half double crochet onto the first stitch. And then on to the next stitch, that's where I'm going to reduce. So yarn over and pull through, yarn over, go on to the next stitch, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all those together. And then I'm going to make plain half double crochet in each and every stitch going towards the center, I'm at the middle point I'm going to make three half double crochet in the middle stitch
and then make half double crochet in each and every stitch going towards the other side of the row So three stitches left towards the end, one, two, and then on to the final one, we have the last, the third one. So I'm going to yarn over and go inside that stitch, yarn over again, go inside the next stitch, and then yarn over, pull through all those together, and then I have the final stitch over here, I'm going to make a plain half double crochet like that and then i'm going to chain two begin to begin on the next row i'm going to do the same thing uh, make a plain half double crochet onto the first stitch and then onto the next two stitches i'm going to make a reduction like that and then i'm going to make half double crochet in each and every stitch as I go towards the center when you reach the center uh, make three half double crochet in the middle stitch And then half double crochet in each and every stitch and then when we get towards the end we are going to decrease as well I'm at the end uh, three stitches left so I'm going to reduce the next two stitches and then on to the last stitch I'm going to make a plain half double crochet so you should be having something like this the ends are curving and at the same time we are still increasing on in the center part of it so i went ahead and made four rows of half double crochet reduction it's a total of four rows and i have realized that i have my desired front like the round fly so this piece is eight inches and then when i stretch it out it can accommodate up to 10 inches and the round fly i'm working on should be 22 so that means i need 11 on this front part and then 11 on the back part as well and remember <laughs> Uh, remember we also have like one inch to make on the waist so this piece is 10 and if I add the waist part when we are done so it's going to give me 11 inches now go ahead and make the same thing for the back or the front part in the exact size and then the next step is we are going to join these two panels together So before we join the two panels together, if so far your round fly isn't uh, the same size that you need, you can opt to join the two panels together using chain stitches. For instance, this part over here, 
I used 2.5 millimeter crochet hook with a medium weight yarn and I ended up joining the two parts together using a, ten, a chain 10 chain 10 stitch to join them together but on using this yellow one it's going to be a little bit different because i've already hit my round fly so i'm not going to make a chain to join them i'm just going to make perhaps a chain one or chain two to join them unlike this other one that i ended up chaining 10 to join them so that i can hit my round fly target so to join the two pieces together I'm going to make my half double crochet starting with the reduction until I get to the middle point so I'm going to chain two remember we are still reducing onto this other side so I'm going to make my first half double crochet and then on to the next two stitches I'm going to make a half double crochet reduction And then I'm going to make half double crochet in each and every stitch until I get in the middle stitch. So I'm in the middle point. So, and I'm going to attach this onto this other side and I'm going to chain two, but you could chain more uh, depending on your round fly. And then I'm going to go onto the middle point of this other side and I'm going to join using a half double crochet. Sorry, uh, let me chain one and then i'm going to make a half double crochet onto that other side like that and then i'm going to make half double crochet in each and every stitch onto this other side going towards this other side So I'm towards the end of this other side. And I'm going to make a reduction onto these next two stitches. And then onto the final stitch, I'm going to make a plain double crochet, half double crochet I mean. And then I'm going to chain two, turn my work around. Remember we are still decreasing onto on the edges on the corners so make a half double crochet a plain half double crochet and then on to the next two stitches make a reduction half double crochet and then half double crochet in each and every stitch going towards this side I'm in the middle part and I'm going to make a half double crochet in the chain one stitch that I made earlier and then half double crochet onto this part and then cross onto this other side and make half double crochet and then half double crochet in each and every stitch until you complete the row. To complete the row, we are still going to reduce onto this corner. 
so make a reduction on those two and then on to the last one make a plain half double crochet so at the starting of the row and at the ending of the row we are going to make a reduction so to begin the row chain two uh, make a half double crochet and then reduce the next two and then go ahead and we are still working on this part now go ahead and make this row of half double crochet and then when you get towards the end make a reduction and then i'll meet you at that point so i am done with these two rows and this is what i have now go ahead and repeat the same thing make two rows of half double crochet onto this other side and then i'll meet you once you get to that point remember you are still decreasing onto this part when you're starting your half double crochet make a decrease half double crochet and then towards the end make a decrease when you're starting decrease towards the end decrease now repeat the same thing i have made two rows of half double crochet on this side go ahead and make two rows of half double crochet on this other side and then we shall proceed from there so i went ahead and fixed the other part and so far this is what we have it's slanting on this side and also on this other side so the next thing we're going to do is to fix the two panels together and i'll be using a different yarn uh, this white yarn same brand with this one and this is the part that we're going to fix So I went ahead and fixed one part of the short and this is how it looks like. So let me show you how to fix this other side. So to begin, this is the right side and I'm going to fix this other side on the right side as well. So grab your yarn and insert it on top here. And then pull it onto the next stitch make your first single crochet and then I'm going to make single crochet going towards this direction and the number of single crochet you have the number of stitches that you have on this side should be the same number of stitches that you did on this other side so What I did is in two rows of half double crochet, I made three single crochet. So for each row, for two rows of half double crochet, make three single crochet. You can also count your stitches so that you can ensure that both sides has the same number of stitches. Up to this corner I have 40 stitches and now i'm just going to work through this other side all this way going towards this other end 
So continue making single crochet in each and every stitch until you complete the row. I'm in the middle part now and I'm still going to make single crochet. in each and every stitch I'm at the corner now So onto this other side, make sure you make the same number of stitches you made on this other side using the same trick uh, in two half double crochet, make three single crochet in between. So go ahead and complete that row and then I'll meet you once you're done over here. I'm at the end of the row so I've just tightened off the yarn and cut it off. There's a reason why I'm doing this. So let's make the second row. So to make the second row this is the right side and this is the wrong side. Go ahead onto your right side of this other side. Attach your yarn again. I'm going to go into this stitch over here. And then I'm going to insert my yarn. And on to the next stitch. I'm going to make my first single crochet. And then I'm going to single crochet in each and every stitch. So this is my third single crochet. I'm going to make 26 single crochet in total. And that's the area where I'm going to attach both sides together. The rest of the stitches will remain open. This is what I mean. You see the area I have attached on both sides is from here to here it's 26 single crochet also the same on the other side from here to here it's 26 stitches and then I join them together and then from there it's going to be an opening so the area I have joined is 5 inches 5 point let's say 5.4 inches so I have my 26 single crochet up to this point and it's 18 rows actually and then from there i'm going to make half double crochet so go ahead and make half double crochet onto these parts and then turn on to this other part and then from here to here, count your 26 stitches. So now go ahead and make your half double crochet in each and every stitch up to this point. And then from this point, we're going to make single crochet till you complete your row. So at this point, 
I have my 26 stitches left and I'm going to make single crochet until the end of the row and then I'm going to cut off the yarn and tighten it off and then the next thing we're going to do is to fix both sides together. At the end make a chain one and leave a long tail because this tail is the one we're going to use to sew in the two parts together and then tighten it off like that you should be having something like this To sew the two parts together, I'm going to use a needle and I'm going to turn my work around. Okay, before we do that, this is what we should be having. It's seamless on both sides. This is the wrong side and this is the right side. So turn your work around onto the wrong side. like this and then and then weave in together like that come on to this other side and then on to this other side and Weaving together at the same time, time, tighten it onto this other side, onto this other side, Make sure you are tightening it well. Come on to the last one and I'm going to tighten it off and then just remove because I'm not going to use this to sew and this is what we have. So turn your work on to the other side. This is what we have. Now it's time to fix the waist and I'm going to use front post, back post to fix the waist part of it. And I have changed my hook. Previously I was using 4mm crochet hook. Now I'm going to use 2.5mm crochet hook to make the waist part. But you can still use your 4mm crochet hook or you can downsize to 3mm crochet hook. And I'm going to go into the middle part of my pants and I'm going to attach to attach my yarn. And then I'm going to chain two. This acts as my first double crochet and then I'm going to make double crochet in each and every stitch i'm 
until the end of the row. So I'm at this corner and we are also going to make double crochet on top of the white on top of the white part So make double crochet even on top of the white part. And now go ahead and complete the row by making double crochet in each and every stitch. Also when you get to this corner, make your double crochet and then I'll meet you towards the end. I'm towards the end. I'm towards the end of the row. So I'm just going to make my last double crochet and then I'm going to slip stitch onto this first double crochet. So for the next row, this is where we are going to start doing our front post and back post. I'm going to chain two and this chain two acts as my first double crochet. And then into the next stitch, I'm going to make a back post. And then onto the next stitch, I'm going to make a front post. So I'm going to yarn over and pull this stitch forward forward to make a front post and to make a back post onto this next stitch I'm going to yarn over and then pull that double crochet going backwards and then make a double crochet so for this one make Make a front post and then onto the next stitch make a back post. So we are going to alternate front post and back post until the end of the row. You should be having something like this. These are the front post and then these are the back post. So now go ahead and complete the rest of the row making front post and back post double crochets in each and every stitch. And then I'll meet you towards this other side. This other side. I'm towards the end of the row. Like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is to slip stitch onto the first chain two that I made and then to begin the next row chain two this acts as your first double crochet and then onto the back post make a back post and then onto the front post make make a front post onto the back post make a back post and then onto the front post make a front post so that's going to be our pattern 
for the rest of the row inside the back post make a a back post and then on the front post make a front post and i'm going to make three rows of front post and back post so this is the second row and then we are remaining with the final row to make them a total of three now go ahead and complete the rest of the row when you get to this point slip stitch on to the chain two space and then chain two and then repeat the same thing again onto the back post make a back post and then onto the front post make a front post and then i'll meet you once you complete your row your three rows of front post back post yay so i'm done fixing the waist and that's how it looks like so the next thing we're going to do is to weave in the tails and i'm going to use this tiny needle to weave in the tails uh, i know this is not the most favorite part but it's also the most important part because if you don't weave in your ends correctly then it might affect the quality of your piece of work Yay, so I'm done. My shot is done and this is how it looks like. Uh, the waist fits quite well on my body because it's stretchy. But I'm going to do the final step. I'm going to attach this drawstring onto the waist, but it's not necessary. So to fix that, I'm going to do this in the inside part of it. So this is the front part. I'm going to drop it like that. And then I'm going to skip two. And then in the next three, I'm going to insert the string. So the thing is, the string is invisible on the outer side, so, but it's visible in the inside part. So go ahead and fix your string like that if you need to. Skip two, and then on to the next three. Pull your string. Like that now go ahead and complete the rest finally I'm going to fix these beads onto the drawstring So thank you so much for watching, kindly consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and feel free to tag me on the piece that you've just recreated. My Instagram handle is called Bayaoko, it's right here on the screen. You can also check the link of my Instagram uh, in the description box below. Also check out my next video on the tutorial on how to make the matching top for this shot. So until next time, goodbye, see you in my next video.